Hello my friends and welcome to day 15 of the 20 day flower creation journey. My name is Luisa and this is the Lulu Blue Studio. Today we are going to paint these beautiful anemones, which are flowers with the characteristic black center and petals of round shape all around. In this case, today we are going to paint them in pink. In this tutorial, I'm going to start to create these anemones from the center. The center is black, therefore I use a fine brush in round shape in size 6 and with the very tip of the brush I start to layer the center of this anemone in black and all around I just place these fine spots that are going to be used to allow, you will see, the wet in wet technique to work at its best. So the first anemone is going to be at the bottom of this page. Once the center is ready, I take my filbert brush in size 8 and the shape of this filbert brush is perfect to create the petals of these anemones. The way I proceed is to mix a little bit of magenta and cobalt blue and to start to create the first layer of petals around this black center. I touch with the tip of this brush the black spots and I just drag a little bit of paint from the center towards the outer part of this flower. In this way a little bit of the black paint of the little dots that I've created a few seconds ago is going to blend into the magenta purple color that I have on the brush. This is the effect that I want to achieve and this is the reason why I started to create the anemones from their center. I keep adding petals just by touching the paper with the belly of my brush. I change the color value and I change the color hue of these petals every time. The color value is how light or how dark the petal is and I change the color value of these petals by removing part of the pigment into my cup of water. I change the color overall of these anemones, of these petals, just by using different percentages of magenta or scarlet lake or cobalt blue into the mixture of color. In this moment I'm adding a few brush strokes of Scarlet Lake into the center. The center of this flower is still wet, therefore the red is going to blend perfectly into the first layer and by the end of this composition we will notice just a beautiful blending of these colors. So keeping in mind the reference picture, I noticed that uh, these anemones, this type of anemones, are anemones with many little petals. There are other anemones that have less petals but bigger in size. So this is the reason why I'm using the filbert brush and the shape of this filbert brush in size 8 to create these petals of the first anemone. When I started to create the second anemone, I also start from the black center and I keep adding the petals using the filbert brush and touching from the center the black paint. So I will allow a little bit of black painting blending with the purple painting onto my brush and I started to create the first set of petals all around this black center. As you can see, since these petals are small in shape, I don't drag much my brush, but I really just touch the paper with the belly or a little bit with the side of the brush and I create these petals just by using the shape of the brush. I keep in mind to change the color value and the color use and I keep proceeding adding petals one next to each other onto this second anemone. 
I personally like how the black color blends with the purple and that's the reason why I started creating these anemones from the center because in this way the black is still completely wet and it can blend with the purple with the pink that I'm using to create the flowers but if you don't want the black to blend into the color of the anemone for example red or purple you can just either avoid touching the black center or you can create your petals first and your black center in a second step. When also the second anemone is ready, I start to create the third one. And I start creating the center in black with my brush in round shape in size six. I touch with my filbert brush the black of the center and I allow some black of the center to blend with the pink that I am using for creating these anemones. I keep using a more concentrated pigment magenta to start creating these outer petals and I keep using the belly of the brush to create these simple brush strokes. In particular this third anemone has a different perspective. Let's say that he is created, let's say looking at the upper left corner. Therefore, we are going to have more petals toward the base and less petals towards the upper corner. The last anemone that I'm going to paint is on top of our page and this is going to be just a bud, just a closed anemone. I am looking at my reference picture to create the petals of this fourth anemone and I keep changing the color use and the color values of these brush strokes to create something that is quite realistic although this whole bud and this whole composition is still in a very loose style. I allow in this case some red, some scarlet lake to blend with the underneath magenta and in particular, since the painting is still wet, these two colors are going to blend together and they will form a beautiful bright pink by the end of this composition. I take now my round brush in size 12 and I take a little bit of subgreen that I mix onto my color palette and I use this round brush in size 12 to create these uh, stems. The stems of these flowers are just some straight stems, so I look to start from the center of these flowers and I just drag the brush towards the bottom of the page. These anemones don't have big leaves and since I am going to reproduce something quite similar to what I see, I will also use a mop brush to start to create these small, very small leaves that are just sitting at the bottom of these flowers. So these flowers don't have big leaves but they have these small, very small leaves that sit at the bottom of the flowers and I achieve them just by using a mop brush and the very tip of the brush and I just touch the paper not using a lot of pressure just being very light with my hand. I mix a little bit of subgreen and I added uh, for the first layer a little bit of yellow, yellow lemon dip to obtain a very bright green and now I'm adding a little bit of green that is more muted and so I added to the green a little bit of magenta. 
and I follow the same process to create this sort of leaves at the bottom of each flower for all of the four flowers that I have created on the page. These leaves at the bottom, like the flowers, are in very loose style, so you don't have to overthink how to create these leaves. Just use the very tip of the brush and just use sometimes the belly to create these leaves in different sizes, color values and color use. At this point, I keep using this mop brush and the very thin tip of the brush to give a little bit more definition to the petals. I just slightly touch the center part of these petals that is quite dry, but not completely. And I create these brush strokes all over these flowers. Some brush strokes are just a concentrated amount of magenta, while other brush strokes are just a little bit of red Scarlet Lake. I use these colors because these were the colors that I started creating the base of these petals, but I could honestly use any other color. I encourage you to do the same for your painting if you like to add these brush strokes, but if instead you just wanted to keep your petals as they are with no accent colors or strokes, just avoid this step. I'm using the mop brush to create these fine strokes because the quality of the tip allows me to be quite loose and not too precise. When I add these brush strokes, I usually take a step back and I look at what I have created and I decide then whether to add more brush strokes or to stop with what I have created. At this point, for example, I'm going to add some darker brush strokes into the leaves, so I'm going to add some brush strokes of sub green and cobalt blue and since the green is still wet this darker green will blend with the first layer of green of the stem and of the leaves at this point i noticed that part of the black center of these anemones has faded a little bit because uh, has been taken, let's say, as blended with the purple of the flowers, of the petals. Therefore, I just uh, wanted to add a little bit of more concentrated black because I like these anemones to have a very dark and concentrated center. And this is indeed the last step of this tutorial. I hope you had fun and you learned something from this. I hope to see you on day 16.